What is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well and you're all feeling good. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we have probably the two best midfield players in the game. I packed um, Team of the Year Icon Vieira from the 88 Thunderstruck pick thing. Um, is he worth the question? Let's, let's just check his price real quick. So he is around about four points. Is anywhere between four and a half and five mil. Would I personally sink four and a half to five mil into Patrick Vieira? The answer to that is no. He's not worth that amount of coins, in my opinion. Um, I think De Jong is slightly better. When I, you know, I've used him now over a number of games, and I find that Vieira, believe it or not, is bullied quite a lot compared to De Jong. De Jong will stand his ground, whereas Vieira, I mean, you would think with a card like this. It would be like the end game. That would be it. You can't get no better. But in my opinion, yeah. So yeah, I mean, if you're going to sink your coins, I'd rather put 1.5 million into Young to do Young than 5 million into Vieira, for example. Um, so yeah, that's just my two pennies worth. So anyway, we're going to jump into the 4-4-2. Um, it is meta at the minute. Um, a lot more people are starting to use the 4-4-2, especially when you're up against the 4 3 2 one. Yeah, I just prefer the 4-4-2 at the minute. Um, I'm still, obviously, you know, as I've said previously, um, my slots are filled with, you know, stuff that I like. Um, you know, so it is what it is for this one. So well, anyway, we're going to just... Yeah, I'm going to show you... Um, so obviously, as you can see in front of you, we've got the width 55, depth 65, build-up players balance, chance creation is direct pass, and as always, width is 50 because it has a nice, you know, balance between um, being narrow and wide. Seven players in the box, uh, three from corners, one from free kicks. Now the instructions are going to be a little bit different compared to my last 4:42, based on obviously the 10.1 patch and things like that, and obviously the live tuning that goes on behind the scenes. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to drop in some gameplay now, and then I'm going to show you, um, basically, using the 442, how far I got in the weekend league, weekend league halfway through it. Um, so I'm going to drop that screenshot in, so you can see, and I haven't finished it as I'm talking right now, but by the time the end of the video goes out, I would have finished it, mashed it all together, and we'll be where we're at. So, yeah, stay tuned for the gameplay, and... Um, yeah, stay tuned for the, the all important instructions. So yeah, back in a bit. So we'll start off with the 442 like from the get-go. I don't have to change anything because it is my starting formation. Um, we get a bit of a lucky goal here with Grincher. Don't really know. The, the, that shot seems to be happening quite a lot recently. It just doesn't look right. Um, so yeah, before we get into like the bones of how this formation works, this is this clip here is slightly extended. It shows you how we're breaking forward. Um, where all the players are on the pitch having a bit of a mad one really the passes wouldn't go through and I've been having that all weekend league my simple like two three meter passes have not been working that pass there was not to that particular player however that's where it ended up and again that pass there wasn't to that particular player but it just goes to show we all have really bad you know really bad weekend leagues and mine was really poor although i finished quite highly um i've paused it here you can see the rigid back four there and then you can also see my holding midfield player there um and that is why i want the left back and right back on stay back you can see where everybody else is on the pitch it's quite narrow in defense um you can see there's really only one passing option forward for my opponent and that is to his striker he can't get it out to the wing i mean he could possibly get it out to the left back but he doesn't. He takes the, the striker route. Um, then we just close him down and win the ball back. And then we're on the break. Um, that this this particular gameplay here that you're seeing is, I think he was either using, I think he was using press after possession loss. 
because um, yeah, the players were chasing me down. I had like three players surrounding one player at one point. But you can see there the rigid back four and the DM. Um, had I had changed that to left back and right back get forward, I wouldn't have that. The quality of teams that I came up against as well during this weekend league was by far the best I think I've ever come up against. Um, you know, the sheer amount of Mbappe's, uh, Ronaldinho's, uh, Eusebio's, Ronaldo's. Yeah, I, I don't normally come across them nearly every time I play, um, unless I'm playing rivals. But yeah, it was, was a lot of good teams this time man. The one thing I don't show you, um, unfortunately, is... Uh, on the D-pad, I've set my uh, left back and right back to basically get forward. Um, so what that does essentially is presses your left back and right back up against their left back and right back. So if they're going, I don't know, for example, uh, press after possession loss or constant pressure, um, you're kind of going to force their back four to stay back and not attack you as much. Um, but it works both ways as well, so you need to bear that in mind. So usually what happens with me is uh, once I get one or two goals up, I tend to then change it back on the D-pad to um, no longer attacking, just to give myself a bit more of that, uh, um, you know, a bit better of a defence, if you like. But, yeah, when when that, when you, when you do that and you set them on, um, you know, get forward on the D-pad, it, it's fine, but then... What you'll see <laughs> over the course of these, these clips is the games go like 2-0, 2-2, 3-3, 4-4. And then it's like, well, what have I done wrong? What What's happening here? Why am I losing? And why am I conceding so many goals? It's because I forgot to change them back um, to stop attacking. So um, once I've done that, yeah, you can kind of you get a better grip of the game, if that makes sense. So, yeah, bear that in mind. Um, I think it's this game in particular I'm talking about where it ends up uh, I end up winning it 5-4 I believe and it was purely because I forgot to change them from get forward to stay back um, which is why I conceded as many goals as what I did um, and it just yeah because you know as soon as you go like there for example 2-2 he's obviously changed something in his setup um, and I haven't changed my setup it's still the same so yeah, once I get to, I think I get once I get my fourth goal, I then change the left back and right back to stay back, um, and then yeah, get the fifth goal. Watch out the game. Quite a decent win in the end. Um, so yeah, this is. I don't want to guarantee anything, but th playing with this setup will more than likely get you two or three extra wins in the weekend league. Um, Especially if you use like the, the left back and right back and get forward on the D pad and then change it back, as I say. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty confident you guys will definitely get two or three more wins. Um, obviously, some of you guys are better than me, so I can imagine this is going to really help. So definitely, definitely watch the instructions. Instructions, as before, you know, usually I would have these on balance, but this time I'm, I'm going for stay back while attacking. That's it. I'm not changing anything else between the back four. I want my back four to be rigid solid and in a line nothing more nothing less obviously your two midfield players well that's a given your best holding players on stay back cover center that's it your more attacking player is on balance getting the box across his cover center free roam want this guy to basically be anywhere he wants to be on the pitch um that's it that's all that guy needs to do he's the quarterback he's the guy that's going to make it all tick and he's you know hence why we have him on free roam your two wide players they're on Balanced, cut inside, balanced support, getting the box crosses. The reason I've not got these two on getting behind is purely because if, for example, I have, and hopefully you've, I've made it clear in the gameplay, but if you've got the left back and the right back with the ball, suddenly these guys are just turning and running. They're not coming towards you for a pass. They're not trying to make triangles. They just want to bomb forward without getting behind. And sometimes I think that's wrong. Sometimes I think you just need them to come back a little bit, do a one-two, then they can bomb forward. You know, you can always, you know, manually trigger them with the L1 button to run forward. So that is why I've changed that slightly. And the strikers are slightly different as well. So, for for example, it doesn't matter which way around you do it. Um, so for my left-sided striker, for example, I've got getting behind and come back on defence. 
Um, I want him to kind of sit in between these two when defending. So we're defending with a 4-5-1 and then obviously your, your, your better striker, if you like, you have him on getting behind and stay forward. So that's your out ball there. So yeah, I hope that makes sense. It is a slight flip on the standard 4-4-2 and it is a slight flip on what everybody else is doing. But I found this works for me, especially if you don't have like the best of players. Um, obviously, if you've got your De Jong's, your Vieira's, your Werner's, your Ronaldo's, for example, go ahead. You can you can have these more offensive um, you can even have these more offensive if you want to, but again, it can all be done on the D-pad. So I don't really see any reason why you'd have that on, you know, balanced or get your join attack. I don't understand that part of it when you can do it on the D-pad. So yeah. Anyway, I hope that makes sense. Drop a like, comment. Let me know what you think to this 442. It's slightly different to my previous 442, which I did over a month ago now. Um, yeah. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. So close to 800 subs. It'd be amazing if I could get there by the end of the month. That would be awesome. And everybody, take care.